Today marks one year since Breonna Taylor was killed by police during a raid at her apartment. A march was held in Taylor's honor today in her hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. Similar demonstrations happened around the country, including in New York City. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon reports. Black man! Black man! Breonna Taylor! They chanted her name, holding her legacy close to their hearts. Monica Reyes held back tears at a rally in Carl Scherz Park. Even though she's not here, she's affected so much unintentionally. 26-year-old Taylor, an emergency medical technician, was shot and killed by police during a botched raid in her Kentucky home last year. The three police officers who discharged their weapons have since been fired. None have been criminally charged in her death because the state's attorney general has said they acted to protect themselves. She was in her bed. There's nothing safer than that. She was an EMT who was helping people. Organizers say the anniversary is an opportunity to reflect about how Taylor's death helped bring racial injustices to the forefront this past year. It's just that touching tonight. It just feels, it feels unreal. Like, it's just emotional. Many of the people at these rallies say one year after Breonna Taylor's death, they are feeling a slew of emotions, including frustration, anger, and sadness. They say Breonna Taylor has not received justice, and they will not stop speaking out until she does. Earlier in the day, hundreds gathered in Times Square with a similar message. Oh, black trans lives matter, black women's lives matter, black lives matter. I feel like if we're not repeating it enough, people will forget to, to stand up for it. Organizers reiterating there should be more resources allocated to black and brown communities in need. Yes, we are out here for Breonna Taylor, but we are out here for black liberation. It's not rocket science. This system knows, this government knows that if you give people the resources they need to survive, we'll be able to sustain ourselves and not just survive, but thrive. We are one people. Many of the people at these rallies say they won't stop until there is real change, so Taylor's death will not be in vain. In Yorkville, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News. Today, President Biden called Breonna Taylor's death a tragedy. In a tweet this afternoon, the president also called on Congress to pass meaningful police reform, saying he's committed to signing a landmark bill into law.